I am tremendously excited by the Supreme Court's decision today holding that President Trump acted illegally in rescinding the Deferred Action for Child Arrival Program. This is a huge victory for 700,000 dreamers, including many on this campus, as well as for the rule of law. President Obama created the DACA program. It applies to those who are brought to the United States under the age of 16, so long as they're currently in school or have graduated, or in the military or honorably discharged, and they can't have a criminal conviction. It gives them what's called deferred deportation status. It means they don't have to fear deportation for two years and then get work permits. President Trump rescinded DACA. But the Supreme Court today ruled that President Trump acted illegally. He acted in a manner that was arbitrary and capricious, without an adequate justification. Had the Supreme Court come out the other way, it would have been tremendously disruptive for our campus as these individuals would have faced deportation. Now these 700,000 individuals know they remain lawfully in the United States, at least for now. It doesn't permanently resolve the issue. Their DACA status is going to expire. Also, President Trump could try to again rescind DACA, this time with legitimate reasons. It really will take congressional action to protect these individuals. But for today, we really should celebrate this decision. It protects those on our campus from deportation. I'm so proud of the University of California for its instrumental role in challenging the decision of DACA. And I'm very honored to have been one of the lawyers representing the Dreamers bringing this challenge.